Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys five OP tips and tricks you should know before going into ranked. You guys have shown a lot of support on the last two general tips and tricks videos I've made. So I'm going to be continuing this series regularly on my channel. And if there's a really neat tip or trick that you want to see in one of the next videos, then be sure to leave a comment down below. Also, shout out to my friend Week for helping me film this video. If you guys want to follow him, his Twitter will be in the description below. So the first trick I have for you guys is a pretty insane Sage Boost on Ascent. When used at the start of the round, this could easily put the round into a 5v4 in your favor. All you need to do is have a teammate sit on top of these boxes outside of B main, and while they're crouched, you need to crouch jump on top of their head, and while you're on top of their head, they stand up and it will push you on top of this little shed. After you're on top of the shed, you can place a Sage Wall under your feet to get an insane peek into the mid cubby which is a common angle where the defenders will be running out at the start of the round to hold and peek from. Not only is it a pretty easy shot for you to hit if you have an op, it is also an incredibly hard angle for the enemies to hit with a rifle. With Omen only becoming more popular, I thought I would share this quick tip for Omen on Haven that a lot of new Omen players actually don't know about. Of course, when you're alting as Omen, you can click on where it says A Tower to teleport to Heaven on A Site, but what a lot of people don't know is that if you click at the box right above where it says A Tower, you can actually instead teleport to Hell. The reason that you would do this is because Heaven is a very common teleport spot when Omen is using his ultimate towards A Site, that is the first spot that people will check and there's also no audio difference from when omen is teleporting in hell to when he is teleporting in heaven back on ascent here and what a lot of people don't know about ascent a site is that you can actually shoot through the floor of a site heaven to shoot into the underneath cubby that a lot of people play in post plant situations and to shoot into this close corner here all you want to do is shoot on the left side of the middle of these wood planks and to shoot on the other side of the same corner, all you want to do is shoot along the light wood plank. And to shoot into the opposite corner of the cubby, you want to stand at this corner of heaven and aim at the middle part of this main wood plank here at heaven. This is a great wall bank spot to know in retake situations. The next tip is for all you Reyna players out there, and a lot of new Reyna players don't know that you can actually use Reyna's Leer to deny information from things like Cypher's camera or Sova's drone. Just like when you use Leer against other players, the camera or drone needs to have vision of the Leer and be in its line of sight for it to be blinded. This is a great tip to know, especially if you are entry fragging on sites where you know that the Cypher plays. The last tip I'm going to share with you guys is something that I actually saw the pro player Sinatra use in one of his games. If you are playing Sova and you have his ultimate Hunter's Fury ready, what you can do is actually at the start of the round, you can ping the spawn barrier where enemies like to stand before the round starts, and you can use it to help you aim your ultimate without having any information of where the enemies actually are. This is obviously a risky way to use his ultimate, but if you know that the enemy team is repeatedly grouping up at the spawn barriers and pushing out immediately at the start of the round, then this could easily catch them off guard and at worst slow down their push or at best you hit a couple people with your ultimate and turn the round in your favor. This trick it definitely works best when you're defending as it's obvious the attackers are going to be standing at the spawn barriers looking to push out and get map control immediately once the round starts. So guys, those are the five tips and tricks I wanted to share with you today. If you want to see more Valorant videos and guides like this then I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and if there's any tip or trick that you want to share with me then be sure to leave it in the comments down below as well